Hello everyone, my name is Brian Kemian and I have a Amazon business called McDuff's Cool Stuff. And I want to talk with you today a little bit about uh, using thermal printers, label printers, and your Macintosh. And if you're using a Macintosh, great, that's good news for you. Um, the problem I had though is trying to get the Dymo printer working with Java and what I found out is that we don't actually have to use Java at all to make this thing work it's actually a lot simpler solution than I thought so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look today at how to choose the correct printer settings for a thermal label printer and printing shipping labels for Amazon using your Macintosh so let's get started this won't take long at all So what I did is I have an order that I'm going to process right now. And that order is right here. We're going to be shipping out something here. And so I almost always buy my shipping right from Amazon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Buy Shipping. And then select the kind of package I'm going to be using. And then I hit Continue. Uh, that's what it was. We have to put the weight in. Okay, so put the weight in, and it comes up with your choice of shipping options right here. I mean, this thing is really light. I could spend thirty-five dollars to ship it, but I'm going to go with good old first-class shipping. And I like this option because you get a confirmation number, even though it's going first-class as a package. Well, if you move your mouse down, you have different print setting options down here. And one of the things that you um, have to make sure is that it's on the default setting, which is right here. It says Format for Label Printers. If you use any one of these other ones, the labels will come out really small or they won't be in the right place. So do that and then make sure you check this button. It says Use Selected Options as your default shipping service options. So it always goes to that one. Then when I hit Continue, you have your option here to buy the shipping service. And then we're going to print that with the selected printer. Now here it's going to say printer not specified. It's okay, because watch what happens. When you click on it, you all you have to do is make sure that your label printer is selected in here. And I have already um, selected mine. Mine's called the Dymo Label Writer 4XL. So it should fill up the whole thing. All right, make sure you have the correct paper and everything set in there. And then when you go to print, it's going to print your label out for you. And that's pretty much all you need to do to make these uh, things work. And um, one thing you do want to make sure is that in your system preferences, that you've actually added the printer. Now, it will come, Dymo printers will come with software that you can install. Um, you can download it from their website. That's probably the best option so you get the latest one. But when you go to printers, make sure that you've added it to your list of printers. And if you've not done this before, all you do is don't go down here, click the plus button, and you'll be able to add that printer um, right here. And that's mine right, right here, the Dymo label printer. And I have it set as my default printer. Now you don't have to, but other your option would be is that you have to choose it every time you go to print, and that can slow you down. You have a lot of orders to process. So that's pretty much it. Um, there's been a lot of discussion on the um, Amazon boards about this issue, uh, but I think that this is your simplest option right here, is just to kind of ignore all the software that they want you to install on your computer and uh, just go with the very simplest solution right there. So I hope this helps you out, uh, Amazon sellers. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and click like or feel free to subscribe. And I will be posting more videos soon on other topics.